Question 18. Salt P can be prepared by reacting together a dilute acid and a metal or an acid and an insoluble carbonate. A pure sample of salt P is then obtained by filtration followed by crystallization of the filtrate. So we know that by obtaining the filtrate after filtration and then obtaining the salt via crystallization, the salt must have been a soluble salt which was dissolved in the water and therefore collected as the filtrate after filtration. So in our options, we should eliminate all the insoluble salts. Out of all the four options, lead sulfate is an insoluble salt. All sulfate salts are soluble except for calcium, barium and lead 2 sulfate. Let's take a look at option A, copper 2 sulfate. It is indeed a soluble salt. Let's see if we can use method 1 to prepare copper 2 sulfate. To obtain copper 2 sulfate as the salt, the metal must have been a copper metal and the acid must have been a sulfuric acid. This will allow us to form the salt of copper 2 sulfate with a byproduct of hydrogen gas. However, copper is very unreactive as a metal and will not react with acid to give you the salt and hydrogen gas. Therefore, copper 2 sulfate cannot be obtained by method 1 and option A can be eliminated. Magnesium chloride is indeed a soluble salt. Let's see if it can be obtained by reacting a dilute acid with a metal. To obtain magnesium chloride, the acid must have been hydrochloric acid and the metal must have been magnesium metal. This reaction will take place because magnesium is reactive enough to react with an acid to give us the salt and hydrogen gas. Let's see if method 2 works in producing magnesium chloride. The acid and the insoluble carbonate will be hydrochloric acid and magnesium carbonate. The salt of magnesium chloride is produced together with a byproduct of carbon dioxide and water. This reaction will occur because magnesium carbonate is indeed the insoluble carbonate and carbonates can react with acids to give you the salt and carbon dioxide and water as the byproduct. So C could be the correct answer. Let's take a look at why option D is wrong. Option D is the salt of sodium chloride. And to obtain sodium chloride from a metal and an acid, the acid must have been hydrochloric acid and the metal must have been a sodium metal. This reaction will occur, but it is not a suitable mode of preparation because sodium is a very reactive metal and this reaction will be extremely explosive and dangerous. Using the second method by reacting an acid with the insoluble carbonate, the carbonate would have been a sodium carbonate with the acid hydrochloric acid in order to produce the salt of NaCl. We realize that this carbonate is not an insoluble carbonate because all group 1 compounds are going to be soluble. Therefore, the second method is also not applicable for the production of sodium chloride. That leaves us with C as the correct answer.